right, hello everybody. I'm coming to you from the car. Uh, I'm heading downtown right now to a nice uh, restaurant called Walk and Roll Kitchen. Uh, they make some pretty amazing Chinese food and it's run by this guy named Mario Amaya and his wife. And uh, he's got a cool press that he uses, a stainless steel press that they use to press the juice out of cabbage and other things. They use a three quarter inch sheet of plywood, a disc, as the press plate. And it's worn down, it's cracked and broken. And he reached out to me because of, he saw my work on Instagram and he wants to see about getting this press plate remade in stainless steel. But I'm heading down to see him right now uh, because I need to remeasure the center hole of this plate. And it's gonna be a, a small one, but fairly unique and interesting, which is why I wanted to film this and bring you guys along with the process. So we're driving through downtown right now. Hi, this is Tay and I'm here with Mario. My hand is over the microphone right. because I'm a dumb dumb. This is a basement in downtown Honolulu. Yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is where you hide the bodies, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this press is wild. So what we're remaking is, let's see, this guy. What do you use this press for? So we use it to press the cabbage for our egg rolls. Cabbage for So we do rolls. cabbage, oh, yeah. onions, and carrots. Right. We have to shred it and then squeeze it to get all the water out so get we can roll out. it into the egg roll skin so we have to deep fry it. So Cause if, if you there's didn't... water in it, I guess it would break easy the skin. Okay. So. But this guy is what we want to remake. Yeah, I was going to guess inch and a half. That's yeah. good. That's close. Good deal, man. Yeah, man. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. I like these little... I do a bunch of really big, difficult projects. Yeah, I, I've seen your gate. Uh, yeah. That's a nice one. So like spider the, web. Yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> but so these small ones are nice because you can start and finish Yeah, because imagine, I mean, before we had to squeeze by hand, like right. I told you. And it was tough, man. Before, I mean, we don't do as much as we do now. Because before we only do probably like for 200 egg rolls and that will last maybe two weeks. Right. But now we probably use maybe 300 egg rolls a week. Nice. So well, good. Like, that means business is yeah, good. Yeah, but to squeeze 300 is Your hands way. are hurt. Where'd you find this? This one I found it on Facebook Marketplace. What's it originally for? Apples? Yeah, apple yeah. cider, I guess. Yeah, cider press. Yeah, so. Well, thanks, man. No, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you, we'll man. We'll hook yeah. it up. All right, so I just met with Mario and that uh, wooden disc is what we're recreating. So I'm gonna take two pieces of quarter inch stainless steel, weld them together so we got a half inch of stainless. That ought to be plenty strong so that he can press his cabbage and carrots and onions. So that's good, got the measurements I needed and we're gonna move forward. So I'll see you guys when the material comes in. Take this opportunity to give you a little tour of Roanoke. Here is the controversial Taubman Museum of Art. Over there. I imagine you could guess why it's controversial. It doesn't exactly blend in with the rest of the city. But it's a cool place nonetheless, and they got some really cool exhibits. Okay, hi, we are back on the uh, stainless steel press plate and uh, the material came in today. Let me show you what it is. So from my steel supplier, if I wanna order a sheet of steel, I typically need to order it in full sheets, like four by eight feet that is, or five by 10. So on Amazon, I found pre-cut 12 by 12 sheets of quarter inch stainless. All in all, before shipping and tax, this was like uh, 20 bucks a piece or 40 bucks a piece. But long story short, a, you know, four by eight sheet of quarter inch stainless right now as the market sits, uh, September 
2021, that would have cost me six or seven or eight hundred dollars. And for you know what Mario needs, would have been completely impractical. Anyway, Jeffrey Bezos to the rescue, I suppose. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. But anyway, so these are 12 by 12 exactly. They look like they were laser cut, which is nice. I'm gonna be running uh, 85 amp consumables, 85 amps cutting power on the hypertherm. So I have drawn up my parts. You know what? We have the technology. I'm just gonna screen capture. What do you think, Walker? Yes, please. <laughs> so these four holes, the smaller holes, are gonna continue through both plates. What we're building here is a sandwich, two pieces of stainless steel laminated together to create a big old plate. And you know what, honestly, looking at these things, they're very strong. Quarter inch stainless is crazy. So I probably don't even need to cut two plates. You know what, let's cut the bottom one, the one without these holes first. Because in a perfect world, this is all I need the piece to look like. So if we go draw our tool path, Move this entry point around here. I'm gonna cut this first. Not only will we see how it does, I haven't exactly cut quarter inch stainless before, so it'd be a good test. And as you can see, you know, this red square is the 12 by 12 plate. So I don't exactly have a whole lot of margin for error. So I need to zero my torch exactly on that corner. But all should be good. So I'm gonna send this to the computer, to the shop saver, and uh, let's go mess something up. This, there's no way for you guys to feel this through the camera, but this quarter inch piece of stainless is insanely hard and heavy and dense. And I highly doubt it's gonna bend at all. So what I might do is cut this out, take it to Mario, have him press it a few times and see if just one layer will do it. Load it on our machine. Gonna zero the torch and keep going. Put on my safety glasses, it's plasma time. Do you wanna be a bad man? Yes you do. Do you wanna taste sweet salvation underneath the summer moon? Do you need another hand now? Yes you do. Go see this show down on Columbus Avenue. Down in the city. So this thing's gonna be used for food grade purposes. So I wanna make sure it's as clean, as smooth as possible, because what I imagine food grade probably means to someone who knows more than I do, is that there's no cracks and crevices and little folds and pits where germs and things can stay. It is stainless. Really any stainless can be considered food grade, 304, 318. I don't know if 8-18 is food grade, but this is 304 stainless, so we're, we're just fine there. Um, I like to set up a little piece of wood when I'm doing my final prep on pieces because uh, when you're moving it around, you're trying to smooth it out and get rid of scratches. If you have it on a table, even though stainless is harder than steel, if you have it on a table, metal table moving around, you're more likely to scratch it anyway. So I like to do all my final prep and sanding on a it's got a splinter in my finger, look at that. On a uh, piece of wood or something. Actually got a few used tools lately from a buddy of mine. So I'm gonna try out this uh, Hitachi angle grinder. I like the idea that it has a lock on trigger. So if you're doing prolonged periods of use, you don't have to hold the trigger down. So that's kind of nice.
this thing, because it sits down in a cylinder, um, you can't really get your hand in there to get it out. The old one had a little handle on it that he picked up. So this one, we're gonna weld two little hoops here and here so that it's down in there, he can grab onto something and pick it up that way. Uh, and I just realized the quarter inch stainless pencil rod I ordered is not in yet. So we've done all we can do for today. Uh, when we come back, we will have the pencil rod and we'll weld on two hoops and then go deliver this to Mario and see what he thinks. I've waited like four days, five days for this to be shipped from Amazon. This is a 12 inch piece of quarter inch stainless round bar. And this is what's gonna be used to make the uh, handles for the press plate. So I'm gonna mark on here uh, some symmetry lines, then TIG weld them on. Oh, but I heat and bend this obviously into loops if that wasn't already clear. I'm gonna take this and make two horseshoes out of it that I can weld on like that. I'm gonna go ahead and make a bend around my little die here. It's about the radius I'd like. Let's play with fire. This jig has come in handy so many times. Love it. Okay. Let's make it hot. Close enough, we'll clean that up. We go cut it and we'll make a new one. Check square and adjust while it's still hot. Pretty dang good. We can go in a kid. Wait. All right. That is a press plate. Well, cool. This is a small project for Lift Dark, physically and. Uh, monetarily but for local people and satisfying their custom fab needs there's nothing really no such thing as too small I like to help some people solve problems I'm quite pleased with this it's an odd thing and if you didn't know what it was for you didn't have a hard time guessing <laughs> what does it look like to you uh, it looked like almost like some sort of like weightlifting equipment or something yeah well yeah I guess it looks like a weight or like you'd, you'd fit it on the inside of like a uh, like a machine that has those like adjustable weights. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the stacks. Of yeah, weights yeah, inside. yeah. I'm sure there's a myriad of things you could use it for. <laughs> yeah, it does have a big hole in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're right. 
<laughs> read my mind. <laughs> And that's not going on too. <laughs> Demonetized. Yeah. Ah, and on the right, you'll see the city jail. No need to pivot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's so bright. We're here at walk and roll. Let's go inside. Mario. Hey, hey man. I brought Walker with me to help this film. All right, man. Doing okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right. How are you? All right, man. He looks cool. So I was gonna go two layers, but this is some of the hardest stainless. Okay. I think you're gonna be. Looks pretty I, neat though. I think you're gonna be in business. I think so, yeah. I don't think it's bendy. No, it is some of the hardest material. Man, can I go try it over there? Yeah, please do. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Let's see at the basement. Yeah. I can watch this too. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Oh man, yeah. That yeah. good? This is gonna be very good. Heck yeah, yeah man. man. And then the, and the holes are perfect. Good. Right well, that's why we take measurements, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let me do that, and then this guy. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Man. Okay. That's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, let me show my chef because he's the one that wanted it. <laughs> yeah, well, and if anybody yeah. acts up, you can yeah, <laughs> no, hit man. him with it. This is a tool of defense. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You happy? Hey, thank you. Hey, yeah, man. man. That's Absolutely. pretty cool, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you're in Roanoke, come eat at Walk and Roll uh, I mean, Restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Walk Kitchen. <laughs> Walk and Roll Kitchen. Come eat here. See you guys next time.